Hello, it's me again. <coughs> yes, Cosmo. Cosmo's wanting to tell you something. I'll tell them. Today, we can't go as many walking places as we normally do. But, I hear there is a place where there might be some beavers living along a burn, another burn. So let's turn around the camera and we're going on a burn adventure. Let's turn around. Wow. Show us the path, Scout and Cosmo. Show us the path. This particular barn in the village was very, very full. It's gone down a bit, but it can't go anywhere. Can you see? It's not really moving much. So we know from that, can you remember? What does that tell us about the River Tay? Yes, it means the River Tay is very full. And that means that we won't be able to walk along the River Tay today. So we'll find a burn. Now this has had snow and rain in this little wood. <coughs> But we will look for signs, signs of the beavers living here. Oh, oh, I've just spotted one. Let's have a look. Well, I think we'll have to go down to it. I don't know how we can get down to the pointy thing and the branch in the ground. The beech trees. Beavers like beech trees, but I don't know if I can get down safely, so I'm going to try it. Come on, Cosmo! Can you see that? That tree has not been touched by humans. It's been touched by a beaver gnawing away at it. The beavers have gnawed away on quite a few things. Oh, there's some people over there. We're doing a film for people who are stuck indoors. We're filming for people who are shielding. Do you want to wave to the camera? <laughs> so the beavers have definitely been here. They certainly have a good look. So that is our first clue. Now I've got to try and figure out how to get back up without sliding as it is still very damp where the water <coughs> came down this last week or so. I know, we've never, we've never been here before on camera. This is so exciting. Look at the debris that has come down <coughs> along the barn. I think the beavers would normally like that as a little dam to block water, but there's too much water for them at the moment. I know, I know, you probably know better than I do, Cosmo, but we need to talk to our people so that they know what we are doing and what we can see. Scout, he doesn't really care, he's got a stick. <laughs> I think we guessed that, didn't we? Wow, it's so exciting discovering a new place. Oh, wow! We just spotted another bit. Can you see that really light bit on the wood? That's beaver gnawing. The beavers have gnawed away 
at that little bit of wood on the tree. That is so cool. So that's proof. We know two things. The river T is too high to get any more water from the burn in it and beavers are still managing to get out and about. Oh, look at the pattern on that tree. That is so cool. I like that. Right, let's go. This way? I'll go that way. You tell me. Yeah. I'm with someone who was here yesterday, but they don't want to appear on camera. So if you hear me mumbling, it's me talking to them. Wow, look at those craggy steps. Let's try and get down those. Wow, that didn't fall recently because it's got a whole bunch of stuff on it, but it's really, really nice. <gasps> there we go. Can you see that light bit down there? Yes, that's another beaver bit. Oh, look, we can even get closer to this one here. They've had to go on a few trees. They obviously didn't like the taste of that one, but that was certainly a favourite. I think beaver teeth grow quite fast, so they have to keep gnawing. Oh, oh, look at this. There's another one. Can you see it? Just about there. That is so cool. What a great adventure this is. I don't think we've ever gone on a photo safari for anything. So we're going on a photo or video safari to see if the beavers have been here. Oh look, somebody stacked a whole bunch of sticks. I think some children have been making some shelters here. That is so cool. Look at this, the path is so small. Remember we might have to breathe in. <gasps> I don't think I can breathe in this long. <coughs> But we're coming up to what my children, when they were small, called a waterfall. But it's really a weir. Can you hear it in the background? Right, are you ready? We're going to go down a slope. Once Cosmo moves, of course. Come on, Cosmo! I thought he'd stop doing that, standing in front of us. <laughs> Whoa, a bit of a run! Right, let's go down. There's a dip here. I don't think there's be much happening here, beaver-wise. But we won't see any beavers, it's unlikely, because they hide as soon as they hear any movement. So the dogs will already oh, oh, have alerted oh, them. Oh, 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 <clears throat> but don't worry, oh, oh, Scout's still got his stick. <laughs> Can you hear the waterfall? Wow! We used to have a birthday party here, and a picnic, and a campfire. It's a lovely little space to go to when the weather's better. Cosmo, what are you doing? Now you might not be able to hear me over the sound of the waterfall. Look at that water coming down, but it doesn't go anywhere, does it? It just sticks at the other end of the barn.
can you see this waterfall? It is magnificent! Magnificent! This is what's up at the end of this burn. Oh, there's Scout going down for a look, see? Let's join him and see if we can get down there. There's some debris. I'm not sure we can get down there, can we? Let's give it a go! Woohoo! Woo! 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 Wow! <laughs> now, it's not too rough here, and I have got my wellies on. So, we can have a little go here, as it's not very strong for slide. You might not be able to hear me now. Whoa, it is quite here. There we are. Well, stay here. What a fantastic adventure! Hi Cosmo! Come here, it's getting stronger! Beaver Safari! Yay! See you next 